She has the beautiful eyelashes, the beautiful brown ears, and the beautiful little nose. Holy micro cow. This is Dolly Star, everyone. She's super friendly and lovable, but not your typical animal for a therapy service program, right? Team 12's Trisha Hendricks shows us how she's being used to brighten up people's spirits. Take a look. My first thought was, oh my goodness, she's so adorable. The smallest cow I've ever seen is typically the first response I get. It's just a typical day at work for Karen Boyle and her sweet mini cow, Dolly Star. Dolly Star is an American white park, but she is a micro mini. The breed's about two years old. Bred on a family farm, Dolly Star is now almost full grown. And while she is tiny, she's mighty, moving mountains in her work in a cow therapy service program. Because Dolly is our first cow therapy animal, we are specializing in memory care and hospitals. This visit, she's bringing comfort to the people at the gardens at Ocotillo Senior Living in Chandler. To bring a little bit of agriculture back into these facilities, especially for people that grew up on farms or dairies or or anything like that like they can't be around their cows anymore so how awesome to bring the cow back to to somewhere that they can be let's just say this team is perfectly cut out for this line of work very surprised that's the first time i've seen a cow that size for john stewart dolly's presence in places like this are important i think it does a lot of mor morale here her visit brings a calming effect we don't get to experience this very often dolly's soothing spirit always seems to bring a smile to the faces of those she meets Good to see something like this. I had a chance to feed her some marshmallows. It was, that was fun. Pets make all the difference in the world. Our residents, the smiles that are brought to them by the animals that come in. Dogs and cats alone are fun, but for them today to have a cow come and visit, they were so excited. The program, working to lift people up, even getting them to think outside the box. Many of our residents asked if we can have cows now, if we can just have a farm here. So um, that might take, <laughs> that might be a, a new... A new idea. The more that we can bring joy to them and the more that we can bring things that make their day better, whatever that looks like, uh, we, we love to do that. In Chandler, Trisha Hendricks, 12 News.